Welcome back to the Icon Diary and the painting of Albrecht Ritchel. Uh, in this session I will put flesh tones on the face and, uh, and the highlights. So the first task is to mix some uh, egg tempera with the appropriate pigments. So let's go over to the bench to uh, mix some paint. Now we want a ceramic bowl and we want a palette knife and we want a little bit of golden ochre and we want just to neutralize that tiniest bit terra verde and to make it a little richer a tiny bit of the Colano red. Then we want egg tempera which is egg yolk and in this case white wine. One part egg yolk, one part white wine. And I'm going to put in hmm, quite a lot. We have at least one part uh, egg yolk, uh, one part egg tempera and uh, one part dry pigment. And give it a good grinding. Put a little bit more green terra verde in there. Partly because uh, this is a uh, very Caucasian uh, skin that we're painting, it's still uh, pretty greeny yellow. Uh, however, as we start to add white to that it's going to look more flesh like but this is how I want it at the moment clean this off and we're ready to put on a couple of coats of uh, flesh tone it's wet this 14 flat brush Kalinsky flat brush uh, before I start and uh, we'll go back to the easel and start to paint. I'm going to keep uh, this uh, paint in this little bowl and gradually take some out to mix with titanium white to make it lighter but just progressively so. But I'm going to keep the same colour there, mix it up, put some into this palette and add a tiny bit of titanium white. Progressively I'll add more in the different wells of the palette but that's what I want for now. Let's hear the story of 
Albrecht Ritual. This piece was written by Ian Weeks. Ritual was one of the founders of what came to be called liberal theology. He also anticipated John, John Robinson, Bishop Spong and other radical theologians of the 20th century. Ritual became important in the middle of the late 19th century as he turned away from the influences of Schleimacher and Hegel. Underlying his work is the European Enlightenment philosopher Immanuel Kant and his three volumes of critical philosophy. Ritual thought, thought that Kant's critique of pure reason proved conclusively that we cannot know things in themselves but only how they are to us. This makes impossible the promise of any mystical experience of God and any account of knowledge based upon that, especially Schleimacher's idea of the feeling of absolute dependence. In the same way, Ritual saw that Kant's account of experience undercut most of the common accounts of Christianity based upon religious experience where experience was understood objectively. Ritual's fame does not lie only in his courage in facing the challenges raised by the Enlightenment or in his acceptance of the unknowability of things in themselves. He turned away from the critique of pure reason to Kant's writings on practical reason or morality and to his later works on religion. The imagination and political philosophy, from these works Ritual came to the view that morality was the proper domain for understanding Christianity and for Christian life. We must understand, however, that Ritual did not understand morality as essentially private. Ethical life, he understood, was realised and accomplished in community. He also came to understand that Luther's translation of the Greek uh, uh, dike as righteousness was misleading and that underlying theme of justice required a more social and political understanding of justification and that in turn led to reconciliation with God and in our social life. However, Ritual understood that religion requires a rational account of transcendence. He believed that Kant's categorical imperative act only on the maxim through which you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law, provided a sufficient account of transcendence. From his exploration of Kant, Ritual also opened the way to an understanding of the importance of history, though an account of history that did not assume either decline or progress, and an account of history free from Hegel's metaphysics. For Ritual, the discipline of history should lead Christians to understand the context in which Christian doctrine and theology had always taken place and would continue always to take place. Richard also understood that history should be the appropriate method for understanding the Bible. Every part of the Bible, its ideas and languages, was the product of social historical circumstances which must control interpretation. In these three dimensions, Ritual began liberal Christian theology. This was a theology in which the Sermon on the Mount came to have a new importance, a theology in which ethics and community opened the way for Christians to share in and respond to the diversity of Christian views and set the scene for Weimar's liberalism and American social gospel movement and Walter Rauschenbusch, which lasted until the start of World War II and beyond. Now, Rachel was born in 1822 and he died in 1889 and he was a German Lutheran. Now, his three volume opus is The Christian Doctrine of Justification and Reconciliation published between 1870 and 1874.
well, what have I been uh, doing, <laughs> painting, while uh, I've been uh, reading an account of uh, Rachel's life. Uh, well, I've finished the highlights. Uh, I've done uh, the hair, used very small uh, strokes in pretty much in pure uh, titanium uh, white, uh, and then also done the um, uh, the details with burnt umber, and also using uh, some uh, Ercolano red, which is, is uh, often my way, usually my way, uh, to uh, place in the um, the crease in the top of the eyelid, uh, down the shadow of the nose, and to uh, also in the um, uh, the uh, eyes in the. Yeah, tear ducts. The eyes, I, I realised I'd, as I do with most icons that are not uh, modern figures, or as modern as <laughs> 19th century in this case, uh, the brown eyes, and of course I don't know what coloured eyes he had, uh, but I've changed that to uh, to grey and uh, placed uh, a black pupil in each eye and used titanium white for the whites of the eye, obviously. Although dirtied it up a bit with some green for one side, otherwise it looks starey. Well, there we have the face for Albert Ecovicio and uh, in our next session some clothing and we need to put background and halo and inscription. Thank you for watching and uh, please if you like what you're seeing there's a, a, a thumbs up in the, the bottom of this uh, screen which uh, gives you an opportunity to say you like it. Also, there's opportunity for you to make a comment. Love to hear from you.